Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Today I want to talk about a common problem with RC cars and that is the red blinking LED of death. You may have an Arma or some other vehicle, a Low-C or something like that, and uh, you may find that you're getting this red blinking LED of death, your car doesn't move, uh, it seems like you still have steering, but you can't figure out what's wrong. If you call up Horizon Hobby, they actually give you the wrong information until your ESC is toast. But is it really? So I just want to cover this as well as a solution. So we'll kind of get into it. I've got my Armored Granite 4x4 3S BLX right here. I've got my SLT3 radio. I've got the radio on, on as you can see, my Gen Zace battery. Go ahead and turn on the car. You hear my fans kind of dying. And you get this red blinking LED. You pull the throttle, nothing seems to happen. Okay, you got no power. Turn the steering wheel though. Hmm, you got steering. So you obviously have signal to the ESC, you obviously have signal to the steering wheel, you're able to turn the wheels, but the car does not move. So what is wrong? Call up Horizon, they're like, oh, your ESC is bad. Uh, wait two months, we'll send you out a new one. And you're like, oh, okay, that kind of sucks. And Horizon honestly probably gets about <laughs> thousands of dollars of returned ESCs that are actually not bad. So I'm gonna cover how do you fix this? What is actually going on? So we'll turn this thing off. And the thing I wanna talk about is that when you turn on the car, obviously the car is gonna get both throttle and uh, steering sent to it by the radio. And when it gets the steering, it's gonna turn the servo to where the steering is according to where you have the steering wheel turn. The other thing it's gonna do is send uh, power to the throttle depending on what it thinks you're doing with the trigger now There is this little tricky knob right here that says th right there in the middle It stands for throttle and you're probably wondering what is that knob? Well, it is the throttle trim and what that little knob does is send a signal to the car when your uh, trigger is at neutral so when you let go of the trigger what signal is it going to send and if you also notice there's a little dot so if you turn that wheel that little arrow up to the dot it's going to send zero so when you let the trigger at zero and you uh, turn on the car it's going to send zero signal now on some cars like a nitro car maybe zero isn't quite right you want a little idle or something you might turn it up a little bit or maybe it's off a little bit you want to turn it down but really what you want is to always have that thing at that little dot that means zero when you let go of the trigger it's going to send zero to the car now when you turn on the car it expects zero for the throttle and the reason for that is it does not want to just launch this car straight into the wall in case you actually have the trigger pulled so normally if you pull the trigger turn on the car well it's just going to launch the car straight into the wall so it has basically kind of this protection that when you turn on the car it expects the throttle to be at zero or neutral it, ex it does not want you to have the trigger pulled when you turn on the car if you turn this little knob up a little bit or down a little bit it thinks you're trying to send it either a little positive throttle or a little negative you know like reverse and it won't let you turn on the car so watch we set that little arrow up to um, the middle right there neutral turn on the car we don't have that little blinking red LED of death we got throttle we got reverse we got steering car is good to go it's fixed voila so that is what's going on when you get that red blinking LED of death check this out make sure your throttle is at neutral and then see if it actually runs you obviously have to turn off the car turn it back on uh, if that does not work the other thing you can do is calibrate your ESC so I do have a whole video on how to calibrate the ESC and what that actually does is it your program the ESC with where that neutral position is where the full throttle is where the reverse is and I do tell you in that video that when you calibrate the ESC always make sure this knob is at zero at the middle and never ever ever change it again because once you change it turn on the car well you get that red blinking LED of death so never do that always leave your throttle at neutral and I think that will help fix you I'm probably saved horizon hobby about you know ten thousand dollars worth of quote broken ECs at this point so uh, I hope this video helped you out definitely hit the like share and subscribe buttons I look for more videos soon and thanks for watching